Okay, let's see this setting so I don't lose it. We've got the flashback being used in analog mode. And you see delay and effects facing at 12 o'clock and the feedback at 9 o'clock. And then I'm using the MS20 lead coming out and it goes into the disting mark 3 and then it comes out of there and what we've got is that going into my oscillators, my 110 oscillators and I've tuned it so that it gives the, when I press the notes I get the correct notes and for the most part it's a C and E I'm using um, what else have we got? <coughs> we've got filter so the filter's taking Hold on, let's get this right. We've got the output from the oscillators going into the mixer. These are the two oscillators I normally have plugged in. So on one oscillator I've been using pulse width and then I've been turning the pulse width modulation up to about the 11 o'clock position. Uh, the other one I'm using is sawtooth mode there. And you can see the settings I've got. It looks right. It sounds rather funky when I turn this one right to a high pitch. That's quite good. So out of the mixer, we then have the lead down there, and the mixer is going out there and going up into my ladder filter, and then the output from that is going over to my VCA and then my VCA and you can see this is set to about 11 o'clock and that one's set to about 9 o'clock and I think that's set to linear uh, I've got the CV being controlled by this ADSR and you can see the settings there and it's set in low mode and what I'm using for that is a gate there and that's coming from that square output there and I've got it set you can't really quite see it medium I don't know with a just slightly more than nine o'clock setting called it nine and a half and that's then now let's get this right it's going over at that pulse rate and you can see it pulsing into my branches and out of my branches I'm going into my uh, Stokia which gives me a Euclidean rhythm but really what I'm using it for is to create bass there we go the bass and then the other channel I'm putting through the bottom channel of branches to give me a hi hat like that. What else we got? Um, I am using an attenuverter to attenuate some signals because I've got a CV control here. So I'm using this coming out, and you can see it's on a low setting. Out of a low frequency oscillator, and I'm putting it through an attenuator so I get basically a positive signal into this filter here. It's just to create a bit of movement. I've got my also my ADSR going in there, the same ADSR that was feeding the VCA, creating the same kind of movement. That's about it. I mean, I have another signal there, and I'm using that through an attenuator to create some interesting sounds. As you can hear, interesting movement. Because I'm using peaks to create a hi hat. Nice sounds 
but I'm using it, it's a triangle wave, but I'm using it for an attenuator, just to shift, shift it up. Yeah, getting some quite interesting sounds there. I mean, listen to this. Okay, let's, let's put this in high mode. Basic tune goes like this. It's A, C and E. If you have a look at my tenuvert settings, let's have a look at my tenuvert settings. See that's from that LFO up there. And I'm using that one to vary my filter up here, listen. It gives me a little bit of movement. Here. Same with that one there. Here's an attenuator. And, oh, I didn't. I failed to do that. So I've got my hi hat, my peak unit, my hi hat, and my drum unit going in there. It just gives, gives me a snare and a hi hat. And I'm using it to vary that. That's what's giving me this. normal right that's my basic settings not using the wasp filter I'm not really using my Lynx unit which I've got in there either I'm not using my quantizer or my multiplier 